हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द एंटेनाज एंड द वेव प्रोपोगेशन टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टॉक अबाउट द बायकोनिकल एंटीना सो एज द नेम सजेस्ट इट हैज टू कोन्स बायकोनिकल मीन्स इट हैज टू कोन्स द टू कोन्स आर ऑफ कंडक्टिव मटीरियल सो वी हैव टू कोन्स विच आर फेड बाय द सेम फीड लाइन विच हैव द सेम वॉर्टेक्स एंड विच हैव द सेम एक्सेस now this type of structure is called the biconical antenna so let's understand in detail about this structure and what is the use of the biconical antenna let me tell you biconical antenna is a broadband antenna so it finds various numerous applications so let's understand about the structure first so now it is a arrangement of two conical conductors right so as i told you the conical conductors are there which are having the same feed line so this is the feed line right and now the length overall length is equal to lambda upon 2 so this is the structure that we have now it is driven by the potential the charge the alternative magnetic field or the alternating current so now at the vertex we will be having the potential the charge the alternating magnetic field or the alternating current so we have two conductors and we have the common axis so this is the cone axis this is the common axis that we have right and the vertex is also common now the two conductors are facing in the opposite direction exact 180 degree opposite to the first conical conductor we have placed the second conical conductor so that the cone axis is aligned right so now the two cones faced in the opposite direction and its most useful application that is the by it is the broadband antennas now this is the structure so here you can see we have the common feed line this is the common vertex and this is the first cone this is the second cone now this is the cone axis and from the cone axis we can measure the angle to be theta by 2 and theta by 2 now this is the antenna region this is the antenna region the inside circle which means the region which is near to the antenna now here we have the equatorial plane equatorial plane is the plane which is passing to the center region or this is the plane which is passing through the feed line as well right so now after that we have the free space region now free space region is outside to the boundary sphere and the boundary sphere is drawn from the ends of the cones right so now in between the antenna region and the free space region we will be having the boundary region i hope you understood this thing now the electric field lines which are present are present at the center of the antenna and now the magnetic field line we all know these are perpendicular to the electric field lines and if i want to operate it at the lower frequency it is going to give me the lower efficiency very poor efficiency i am going to get at the lower frequency so i want to make it work at the higher frequency so now let's understand some more features of the biconical antenna so it is working from 75 megahertz to 400 megahertz you can see its broadband nature so it can work very efficiently from 75 to 400 megahertz on a very large frequency range it is having an excellent azimuthal pattern symmetry so it can be used in a wide range of application due to its symmetrical pattern structure as well and it is having low loss high and high efficiency but it is having high efficiency when it is used in the high frequency range right in the megahertz frequency range it can be used now coming to the uses so it can be used as electromagnetic interface testing right if i want to do the electromagnetic interface testing the immunity testing the emission testing i can very well use the biconical antenna it can be used in the military applications as well now coming to the unipole antenna in the biconical antenna we have two cones now in the unipole antenna one cone is mounted on the infinite plane conductor so here in spite of this cone we will be having an infinite plane conductor now its input impedance is half of the biconical antenna and one cone is re replaced by the ground plane so that the impedance also becomes half now if i will be having the discontinuity at the end of the cones if 
here I will be having some what discontinuity. So what, what will happen? We will be having various reflections, the heavy reflections would be there and due to which we will be having minimum or not at all energy is radiated, right? And if the absence of discontinuity is there, which means the structure is full continuous, then in that case, we will be having the maximum radiation of the energy. Now the radiation pattern will be looking like this is a directional radiation pattern. I hope you understood the biconical antenna in the detail. If you have any doubt, you can put the doubt in the comment and I will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible. I hope you like this session. If you like it, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and also give me your feedback. Thank you so much.